what people mean when they say the lace look gritty and not natural like a scalp. This is what we're going to cover up and hide today. So as you can see when the wig is applied you can still see the lace and it does not look natural at all. You can even see the separation from the wig cap. So I'm going to show you how to turn it into this right now. So the knots on this particular wig has already been bleached as you can see which is a perfect starting point. A few things you will need for today's video is a wig cap. You want to get one that matches your scalp color. You need a pair of scissors that are sharp. You also need some thread and also a needle to sew with. You can use a sewing needle that is for hair. Um, you will also need just some powder loose powder that matches your scalp color and a brush like a makeup brush that you don't use anymore. So the first thing we're going to do is take this wig cap and I'm going to remove the bulkiness of this cap. I'm just going to start by cutting the cap straight down the middle to elongate it and make it a little bit more longer. Now you just want to take your scissors and remove the stretchy part of the cap. This part of the cap usually is the one that shows through the lace really badly. So you don't work this on a wig head. So I have a foam wig head here. What you're going to do is take that wig cap that you cut and place it over top of the front part of the lace. We're going to cover the whole front, but leave just a little bit uncovered. I'll talk about that in just a second. Um, but what I'm doing here is just stretching the cap to make sure it's nice and tight. And then I'm going to pin it with one of these wig pins to secure it for now. Stretching out that cap a little bit more, I'm going to pull it and I'm going to begin to sew that cap right on that edge. Not on the lace, but right there on that edge where that comb is. Um, and the reason why I'm applying this over top of the lace is because this is going to hide those grids and act as a scalp under the wig. I'm also sewing it right on that little tab you can see right underneath the wig cap, but I'm not sewing on the lace at all. I'm doing one or two stitches and then cutting it off and moving on. I'm going to also repeat the same thing on the other side. Make sure that when you put that wig cap to the other side, you pull it a little bit tight so that it's no looseness on the cap. Now, also make sure that the, the cap that you're using is your scalp color. You want to get one that's either this color or darker if you are a darker complexion. I'm also just going to add a stitch right here at the top just so that it won't roll down. FYI, I did cut off the extra cap that I did not need. So at the front, what I did right on the sides of the lace is I put one stitch on each side and usually my sides don't show. So it's really no big deal for me. Now, as you can see, the cap is rolling from the front. We're going to fix that in just one second. I'm going to skip ahead a little bit and we're going to place the cap and the wig right back on the foam head. And as you can see, you can see that separation there. That's what you do not want. So what I'm going to do is take that powder that matches my scalp color and my brush. I'm going to dip my brush in a little bit of water to kind of get it nice and moist and make the pigment of the powder a little bit more intense. And then I'm going to be applying the powder down the part and anywhere that the lace is going to show that separation from that cap. Now, I know you may be wondering, well, how come you just didn't put on the wig cap and you know, just do this on your head? Well, the problem is uh, for most people, wig caps can be uncomfortable. It can be hot in the summertime. So I figure doing it this way, sewing it to the lace itself is going to make it a lot more breathable. So you don't have to wear a wig cap on your And also that elastic that we cut off when you wear a wig cap is usually hard to cover with just concealer or powder. So cutting it off will make it a lot easier for you to actually blend everything. So this is how it's looking so far. As you can see, it's covering pretty good. Now, going back to the part where we have the cap that's rolling from the front, I'm going to pull the wig cap down to the front of the lace, close to the front of the cap, but not all the way down because you don't want it to be too far down because then you will see a separation. You wanna leave just a little bit of lace. I'm going to apply that glue over top and this is going to temporarily hold this in place. Um, I'm going to dry it with my dryer 
and now this gel does wash off so when you do wash your wig it will wash away now this time when I did it I was a little bit messy with the glue if you happen to have that problem as you can see it will turn a little bit white what you do is just take an alcohol pad and just get rid of that little bit of flakes that you see and then just take some more powder and cover it up now I find this method really really nice and as you can see everything just looks really good it looks so much better than it did when I first applied it again as I stated at the beginning this is a wig so it's going to look like a wig close close up and I'm using a HD camera so you will see everything but from a distance if you, no one has a magnifying glass they're not going to notice all of this but as you can see it's looking really good what I'm going to do is just play with it a little more I, I am going to go back and clean up the rest of that gel um, but right now I'm just widening and making my part a little bit longer so yeah this is the finished result this as you can see is the after and here's how it looked before i think it looks really really good very natural so if you guys found this helpful please give this video a thumb